Let's talk weightless soft plastics. So the thing that is so good about weightless soft plastics in the spring is the fact that you can have a very subtle presentation that you're fishing and the you can also fish it really slow and the thing that makes bass so attracted to that in the spring is they tend to be a little bit more picky when they are like first rolling up onto estuaries or sand beaches they tend to be a little bit more picky and if they're on specific bait a lot of things like weightless soft plastics can be one of your best chances of getting those fish one of my favorite lures to throw is a sluggo especially a weightless sluggo there's a few different types of weightless sluggos where you can use uh, either one that's rigged uh, or you can which means you have two hooks coming out of the sluggo or you can use one that has one like belly hook and that would be rigged like a swim bait I think would be the best way to kind of describe it it's rigged where it has one hook that comes you know out from the belly and pokes up just out of the top of the sluggo so what I really like to do when fishing them is give them two pretty good twitches and then let it glide and because it's nutriently buoyant in the water what will happen is when you twitch it it will glide and continue to move slowly and that is very realistic to the bass they're used to a dying bait fish to kind of twitch around a little bit and then glide through the water where a lot of other plugs when you stop reeling them they'll actually just stop weightless soft plastics will continue to kind of glide and you can swing them in current there's many different ways that you can fish them uh, I've had tremendous success off of sand beaches with them because you can fish them in very shallow water one in particular uh, spot that I fish has about a four foot deep bar that the bass will kind of be in the trough of so it has a bar it's like four feet deep and then the trough might be four or five you know maybe a little deeper so what happens is I'm able to kind of twitch it across the sand flat there and right where it kind of rolls off uh, into that deeper trough is a lot of the time where those bass will be sitting nosed into the current waiting for any sort of bait fish to glide over the top of them and then they come boom and crush it so what I like to do is I like to cast just up current of that give it a few twitches let it glide and then right as it's about to go over the top of that uh, over the top of the trough there I like to just twitch it once and it's just gonna move it once like that and then glide and sure enough boom you get that whack and this is a great way to catch really big fish too. The presentation of the weightless sluggo is a very easy, realistic meal to a big striped bass. So if you really want to catch a really big early spring fish, using something that has that very subtle action to it and can be presented extremely realistically to the striped bass is oftentimes one of the best ways to catch the biggest fish you can possibly find. So that's why I personally really love using things like weightless soft plastics. Now, the, the Sluggo is definitely by far my favorite weightless soft plastic. Hoagie makes a good one as well. Um, and you can rig them the same way where it's got to swim very realistically and with very little uh, added action to it. Uh, and as I was saying, like being able to access that type of that type of uh, subtle movement underwater in very shallow deep water is something that not a lot of lures can do so what what I mean by that is when the water is shallow I'm talking maybe a foot to two feet deep you can have really big bass feeding on flats like that and it's really hard to fish something like a metal up swimmer or even some sort of like a like a even like a SP minnow or something along those lines you're gonna have a hard time fishing anything like that when it's only a foot maybe two feet deep so what I like to do is I like to use things like those weightless soft plastics because I'm able to give it great action in that shallow water but then also you know be able to produce something that is really gonna catch some big fish for me. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.